Where do enchanted dickies come from? Find out next. I'm Phil Guidebath. Phil Guidebath here. I'm Phil Guidebath. You're Phil Guidebath. And everyone say howdy, bear! If you've ever visited a Disney park, then you've seen the work of Robert Van Uzi and Leroy Schmaltz. Just how did these lifelong friends get involved in the tiki business? Let's go back to the beginning. Well, it was probably, uh, it was carved by some carver in Samoa that uh, Mr. Carter had arranged. And uh, that is, uh, is not a Samoan, it's way to carve a Samoan, it's a, called a Rorotonga figure. And um, this piece, it's out of uh, probably a form of uh, mahogany or something of that nature in a tree. We got started with, with Mr. Carter, who was the one that has had that tiki. And Bob Carter had been in business since 1925. And we were carving and doing some things, and we met him. He's right here, we're here. And he said, hey, why don't you guys come work for me and, uh, and sell and so forth. So that was in the mid 50s okay. and we started working with him and he had the connections to Disney uh -huh. so he moved to uh, Westwood and uh, Disney people still came around and visited us and to do one thing after another we said we're doing a lot of work for, for Disney oh well, uh, there's been signage and I've done you know a lot of the different companies that's dull I don't know some of those companies still there dull pineapple one We've done things with Kiko Man, we've done Carve Post, and we've done other, th other things, you know, besides the function, totem poles and, and uh, ashtrays for when they, people were smoking it. We did uh, some sort of look like trees, and tree branch, um, stumps, and uh. other things of that nature that we've done. So <laughs> it's, there's stuff all around. And there's things that have come and gone. There's, we were involved when they had the. Um, Swiss Family Robinson structure, and we been do, did some of the things for that. Queue lines and stuff, artifacts and things sitting around. We find a lot of different projects, different uh, different areas of it, you know, old bottles, things like that for, you know, the, the um, Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever it is, you know. And, uh, also worked in uh, Epcot and on Disney World. And we know a lot of their designers and worked with them here and Florida. Like Harper Goff, you heard of the name? Yeah. Uh, he used to come around a lot. And, oh, wow. And uh, he, he took a read around and his, when they first were doing Dis uh, Disney World, they had a display at Burbank, the full, it was about, a, it was about the size of this small room. Oh, wow. And he, he took me around in his little cart <laughs> and pointed out all the different things that he was working on and we might do things with and everything. The Polynesian Village Hotel in San Di I mean, in Orlando, that's different. You know, we were for two years on that. Disney World, besides the Polynesian Hotel and so these, we did um, Canada, did totem poles, and inside, outside. We did, did the African Village there, did the work in Japan, did work in Germany. Middle Eastern one there, they, there's, there's a lot of stuff. I know then they got a lot of, in a whole African village, and I, I kept carving masks and shields and things that <laughs> kind of more African style. Trigger Sam's course is the new part that we, um, Leroy carved the, the two walnut door, the hardware doors, and then did the 
the posts that are on the um, Pangaroa Terrace. That little figure, that's on the carved doors I did for Trader Sam's. They had different images that they wanted me to do, but they liked that one the best. It burned out the best on the door. I enjoyed the doors because it was a more, more, more fulfilling after, you know. And they gave me a uh, full, you know, go ahead and do that. So I please on it. When was the last time you've been to Disneyland? A few years ago, because I was, I was honored there. They had um, a 60th anniversary, and I think a luau. <laughs> they made some comment about me and, you know, Dr. Schmaltz is here, you know, the jungle guy or something. He had some sort of some story. story. <laughs> so, the next time you're enjoying the oceanic art of a little village far up some tropical river, remember to let out a mahalo to Robin Williams.